There aren't many soda shops on the National Register of Historic Places. Then again, there aren't many soda shops like Elliston Place in Nashville. In its 78 years of business, it's been a gathering spot for politicians, entertainers, and well, just regular folks. What's the secret? Well, let's drop in and find out. Nashville's Elliston Place is a street well known for its bar and live music scene, and more recently for its trendy high-rise living spaces. But since 1939, it's also been home of a Nashville institution, the Elliston Place Soda Shop. We like to say that we're the oldest continuously operated restaurant in its original location, so it's a mouthful, but we do hold that distinction. Skip Bibb became the owner in 2014 at a time when there was talk of shutting the landmark down. Well, I'd been in the restaurant business before and I had known about the soda shop and I'd known that it had fallen on some hard times and it was available and I wasn't doing much at the time and I thought that it would be kind of fun to take it and, and uh, bring it back to its original glory. Skip expanded store hours and made a few tweaks while preserving the original look and feel. I knew that it was iconic and that people already liked the place. So my game plan was really to try to keep it relevant and yet keep it the same all at the same time. And it's been a little bit of a, a dance. The building's history goes back to the early 1900s. A grocery store turned to pharmacy complete with a fountain. In 1939, Lynn Chandler convinced the landlord to build a wall and make his soda shop a separate business. Many years have passed since then, but changes, well, hardly any. Even these signs behind the bar are original. In fact, the shop's nostalgic atmosphere is much a part of the appeal, just like the time-tested menu. We feel like we've got one of the better cheeseburgers in town. It's a traditional diner cheeseburger. It's not one of these poo -poo, uh, boutique cheeseburgers, but it's, uh, it's, a, it's a really good cheeseburger. You know, we've had famous people come through the restaurant and eat here. One of them was Jimmy Buffett, and he, uh, he came and ate so much here that on three of his albums, he said we were his nutritional consultant. Well, every day we serve, a, we serve a meat and three. You get to choose a meat and up to three uh, vegetables, and we do meatloaf and fried chicken and pot roast and uh, all the goodies. You were telling me earlier that the meat and three sort of is indigenous to this area, is that correct? It is. It's kind of indigenous to the Nashville, Middle Tennessee area. It has grown uh, across the country because it's a good description, but you know, originally that was kind of known as a blue plate special. And the milkshakes? always ranked among the best in town. Linda Melton has been shaking them up for more than 20 years. You can go anywhere and get a milkshake, but they're not truly the true milkshakes. We use something called a shake base that really doesn't have any flavoring to it. And we use our own syrup. A lot of people, for a strawberry shake, they're gonna use strawberry ice cream. We do not. We use a shake base with our own syrups and toppings and stuff, you know, to make it a strawberry shake. Wow, it sounds like you just gave away the secret, didn't you? Well, you know, he'll shoot me later, but it'll be okay. <laughs> One fixture of the soda shop that remains the same, thank goodness, are these personalized jukeboxes. They don't work anymore except to bring back a lot of great memories. Speaking of memories, this place is truly loaded with them. That's Miss Jean Stevenson. She was a hoot. She was one that would tell you, come in, sit down, shut up, I'll be with you in a minute. And they loved it. But you're not that way, I noticed. Uh, oh, yes, I am too. <laughs> Matter of fact, I get called Little Jean quite a bit. <laughs> one quickly discovers Elliston Place is no place for attitudes or airs. And if you're not like one of the family when you arrive, well, you probably will be before you leave. All right, honey bunnies. Oh, thank you, ma'am. Does that look like something you can live with? As I've said, I've been in a restaurant business before, and uh, the other restaurants that I started uh, had to start from scratch and they and build their own stories. Uh, with soda shops, got its own stories. It already had uh, history. Uh, people want to like the soda shop. Uh, 
and they remember it fondly. If you live here in Nashville or have lived here in Nashville, you know of the soda shop. So it's fun just reminding people that we're still here. Good morning.